were now standing in a building from the future. Even though it was built using traditional technologies, the approach was completely different from any of the projects we've ever done before. In this building, we were looking at the entire life cycle of the building. Within Roke, we have put a lot of effort and emphasis in understanding our customer needs. You can't just go to the customer and ask what, what they are looking for. You have to actually sort of go into their mindset and see yourself what it is that you can actually do to help your customers. But we have to find out what is it that we can do that actually would benefit them on their path to building better and more sustainable buildings. The way we see our customers is that they are actually very, very forward driven. Most of our customers are looking for ways to realize better buildings, to improve one after another. It's not enough that they want to do it. They also have to have the agility needed to actually go through with the whole thing so it doesn't end up in words on paper. One of the key challenges for building is making the information connection between today and tomorrow. Another key issue is the information building is providing during its use. You have to be able to drive the building, you have to be able to react as it goes. And for this reason, this building is actually filled with sensors providing loads of information that, which can then be compared to the initial assumptions that we made. Sustainability is not only about energy efficiency. It is also about material efficiency. It is about economic sustainability. And we have actually in this particular building taken all those future needs, made them into something that is very concrete, very simple solutions using today's technology. Lifecycle cost optimizing is actually one of the key features of this building and the way it was built. The idea is that you take the deep technical understanding that we have been developing over the years in this company and you present the effects in a cash flow calculation. Which means that through that cash flow calculations you can actually show in numbers to the customers how they are investing and how much they are saving in the energy and other maintenance cost of the building. Obviously, one of the most important things to understand is the construction cost. For us in Ruukki, this is quite natural. Since we actually make the products ourselves, we have very, very good understanding of how their material cost, how their processing, installation and other costs are built up. It is about understanding the effect it has on the entire life cycle cost of the building. So you can't just sub-optimize one component. You have to understand what is the effect of this decision in the other investments that you're making in the initial phase and also the effects that it will have over the life cycle.